and welcome to a very curious place with Astrid making her opinion on everything which she apparently is unhappy about everything today I've been gone most of the day and she's letting me know that she wasn't happy about being stuck at home with her sister in that right Grace Grace who is sitting right there and ignoring me because she's watching for cats don't worry she never catches them Today, we are going to be doing a review on the much-anticipated Shane Dawson Conspiracy Theories Part 2. I watched the Part 1, and I've already put that one up, and I've got to say, I loved Part 2 actually more than Part 1. I thought I loved Part 1 the most, but I loved Part 2. I love that he's doing the longer videos. I really do like them. The hour and a half, I know some people, they don't want to sit down and watch an hour and a half video. I am not one of those people. If you can keep my mind occupied within that hour and a half, I'm happy to watch it. I really am. I think the conspiracy theories he brought up were interesting. They kept me involved. They kept me interested through the entire video. And I was actually sad when it was over. And I'm actually looking forward now to what he does next. I think he said it was probably going to be a month or two before any more come out. I'm a little bit sad about that. I wish he'd put out some little short ones in the interim between the big ones. But I do understand that they... Andrew and him put in so much time into these videos, and I think that's what some people don't understand. For that hour and a half of film that you see, you don't know how much they actually filmed. They probably filmed at least a couple of dozen hours worth of film, just and then spent all that extra time editing it down into that hour and a half. So there's a lot of work that goes into that. There's a lot of work, a lot of time, um, a lot of effort. Um, I, I applaud them. You know, I don't do any editing. Um, I do have editing software. It won't work. Um, <laughs> but I, I applaud them for all the work and effort they do put into it. Because to make something of that quality and that length where you have to put all these different elements into it, it's actually very intricate and very time consuming. And I think that's what a lot of people don't really understand because I know people were getting kind of shirty with them about the fact that it was taking so long for him to come out and you know, it, they didn't like how long they were having to wait. You have to keep in mind, YouTube is free content. Are the YouTubers getting paid? Yes, Shane gets paid. But he gets paid off of AdSense with the views. The viewers don't actually put any money towards that. Now, when you keep that in mind, you have to understand that he's putting this content out with the hope of either a sponsorship deal where he will get some extra money, getting views so that he can get money off of AdSense. But he's not actually getting any money to do it all. He doesn't make money unless he until after, if he gets the views, if he gets the money from AdSense. So you have to keep in mind, there are a lot of intricacies to putting videos on YouTube. It's not just, you know, wham, bam, boom money. Um, so I, I think people kind of need to cut him a break a little bit, you know? I mean, he does wonderful work. Um, his content, which I know a lot of YouTubers, they don't like the phrase, content. But his content of his videos is, I think, excellent. Um, and he's been on the channel for so long, and his channel is changing so dramatically over time. And I think a lot of people aren't happy about that either, but, you know, people grow, people change, and I think other people have to keep that in mind as, you know, these things happen. It's just part of life. But I really did enjoy, I enjoyed the stuff about um, the Chuck E. Cheese. I don't go to Chuck E. Cheese. Even when the kids were little, I they would say, we want to go to Chuck E. Cheese, and I'd be like, no, we're not going any place that has a rodent as his mascot, because that's just disturbing. And yes, I know Mickey Mouse Disney. Never been to Disneyland either. Um, 
but uh, I find the whole rodent and a rest as a mascot for a restaurant. You know, I can let Mickey pass because it's not a restaurant. You know, it's cartoons and stuff like that. But with the Chuck E. Cheese thing, it's a restaurant and there's a rodent in, as their mascot. That's just unsettling to me. Um, and then when it comes to the whole software thing, I found that stuff fascinating. You know, that's something that I've been interested in in a while. And when it came to his friend talking about her her issues and her life and everything, I also found that interesting because I've done quite a few things where I looked into online dating, dating apps, things like that. And there are a lot of men on these dating websites and on these dating apps that they come in strong. I mean, I've had ones that they loved me, they want to spend the rest of their life with me. And I just so want to come see you. And if you could just send me, <laughs> insert money here. And they prey on people because if you're on one of those dating sites or dating apps, they're going working under the assumption that you're lonely, you're sad. And they're going to prey, prey on your, you know, on you, you know your insecurities, your low self-esteem, they're going to look for people like that and prey on them. And it's sad, but a lot of people fall for it. And, you know, I, I hope that more people watched this video and read her and go forward to read her book. Um, because I do, I, I would like to get her book and read it. Um, and they learn. Another thing I would suggest is that if you are on a website and some guy or girl is coming onto you and they love you, they you're their perfect, you know, they want to spend the rest of your life, their lives with you, take their pictures. And this may seem, you know, like untrustworthy, but you know what? In this day and age, better safe than sorry. Take their pictures, go to Google Image Search. Okay, put their pictures in. You may have to put several pictures in. But there are sites for fraud where people put the pictures that they got. And most of these people use that are committing the frauds. They put their pictures and use the same ones over and over and over again. So you will be able to pull them up on fraud sites where people have complained. And there's someone driving best. So you'll be able to pull up most cases... Um, websites that have these picture on there, pictures on there, and um, comments from people that have been drawn in. It's better to be safe. You know, it really just is. I would also encourage you, if you see someone that is coming onto you on a website and they're using military pictures, they're supposedly overseas, they love you and all this, and they've come in seriously strong, red flag. Seriously, it's a red flag. Don't just fall for it. Look at what happened to her. You know, be smart. Think about it. As I tell people, don't be stupid. Think. Use your brain. So I, I really liked part two of Shane Dawson's conspiracy theories because those are things that I'm interested in. But I also think that there are things that are of interest to a lot of people in the world now. They um, affect a lot of people, you know. Um, Chuck E. Cheese is very popular. Anything when involving computers is, you know, a a chance effect to affect could affect people in general um and then when you have the dating sites dating websites dating apps those are extremely popular things these days tons of people are on them so i really think that he chose the correct things to talk about in both part one and part two um i think that there are things that everyone should learn more about you know, learn more about the world around you, the things that affect you, you know, in this world, it's getting crazier and crazier and crazier, you know, and sex trafficking, um, 
kidnapping people, selling them around, selling them off, that is becoming sadly more widespread. And it is becoming a topic that I believe everybody honestly needs to learn more about so that you don't become a victim. And I really am happy that he kind of touched on it. I'm sorry, Grace. I didn't know that was your tale. Um, I'm really happy that he touched on it in his video. Um, I'm hoping that maybe later on in another video, he'll touch on it a little bit more. Um, I, I think that would be something that could really make for a good video and be beneficial to the viewers. But if you haven't watched... Um, either of his conspiracy theories or any of his conspiracy theories in the past. I highly suggest you watch them. There are other conspiracy theories on YouTube that are also of interest. Just take a look around. A lot of the things may seem silly, but they're also interesting. And, you know, I think in when it comes to the stuff that Shane Dawson talks about in his videos, they're actually things that are widespread and affect a lot of different people. And it's good to put the information out there. It's good for people to learn more about these things. So I happily give Shane Dawson's conspiracy theories part one and part two, two thumbs up. I think it was awesome. I think everybody should watch it. Um, as always, much love for Monty in a very curious place. And if you would like to like and subscribe on my channel, hit the notification button. I would be very thrilled by that. But it's no pressure. It's totally up to you. Bye, sweeties. Stay strange.